Hey YouTube, Zevadar here, bringing you guys another great game review. This time, I am proud to introduce Brink. I know I'm late to the game, guys. Don't worry, it's still a game review. I've been meaning to review this for a long time, haven't got the time to. I actually got this game for my birthday, and um, I haven't really gotten, really had a chance to try it out. Um, anyway, guys, so you know, starting right off, this is a first-person shooter made by Bethesda, Bethesda. Um, and Splash Damage Games. This game was released um, May 10th in the US and in Australia it was like some time before that. Um, anyway, basically the storyline is, um, you know, there's two, there's two, uh, camps that battle for, battle, like battle in the Ark, which is a, the Ark is a floating city above flooded earth. And there's two um, two groups like that are fighting against each other. It's called the resistance and the security. Sorry guys. <coughs> and um, so basically, right now, I think I have, I'm fighting with the security against the resistance. Um, and obviously, the the whole screen layout is very very easy to understand at some points. Like you have your um, objective times. In the top right, like you can see mission time, you can see the percentage of the goal. So let's say if it says like you know guard so and so vault for you know until reinforcements get here. I don't know if that's an actual goal, but let's just say it is. Then um, it will say like you know how much health that that vault. Anyway, guys, so you guys will be seeing me play through one mission and. The way this campaign is laid out, it's not like a continuous thing. You play different, like, not goals, you play different parts of the campaign. And, um, you can play for both the resistance and the security. And, um, so yes, the combat, you guys can see right here. Um, now I didn't, I didn't fool around with any of the weapons beforehand, just because, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really earn any, like, attachments or upgrades to the weapons. But as you guys can see, um, you know, the recoil on the guns, like, to me it's insane, the recoil on the guns, and I do not, I'm not a big fan of the recoil on the guns, sometimes it is just insane, and that, it could be the difference between life and death for most of you guys. Um, for me it is. Um, and, but, what, what I found really weird is that the SMG has almost no recoil, while the assault rifle has massive recoil. I understand in real life that that's how it really is, but the assault rifle compared to the SMG's recoil is just insane. It's like you're, you know, carrying an LMG versus this SMG, you know? It's, oh man, it's awful. Um, but anyway guys, this is just quickly what I think, really quickly. I would not go out and buy this game, like, I would not go rushing out, I mean, if you guys have extra money at GameStop, like, gift cards from birthdays or whatnot, I, I would go a decent game to have in your collection, collection, I don't know if you'd say collection, I don't know, it's a decent game to have if you were bored and you just want to, you know, shoot some people up with guns, um, yes, anyway, the game is alright, overall, as I said, the recoil is a really big downer for me, the walking and the running, oh man, that's, that's horrible for me, guys. Um, now, for the sprinting, that is LB on the Xbox. I don't know about the PS3. Um, I'm assuming that it's just the same equivalent version. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so the sprinting is that, which took me a little while to figure out because I'm used to most games like Call of Duty, um, uh, yeah, Call of Duty and all that. You know, being press in the left thumbstick and you know go forward and that's like the sprint and that's what I was used to you know um because I find this game more like Call of Duty than any other game that I have that I can you know actually um relate to um it's not solid the the running I mean and the walking the walking is very messed up sometimes you'll be walking like clearly out like in the open and you might get stuck on you know, um, a suitcase or, you know, a briefcase or something like that, you know, 
and it won't let you through. And so you have to press A to jump over it. Now the jumping in this game, oh my god, it's small. Oh man. Oh man. It's not like completely horrible, it's just that it takes so long to get used to. It's not funny, guys. The, the jumping, like. I mean, I can jump higher than the people that jump. Like, I know in Halo, you, used to ju you could jump, like, you know, 10 feet in the air. In this, you'd probably jump not even a foot. It is, it's saddening, you know, because you have, I mean, sure, you have all this armor and whatnot, but still, you know, you're a super soldier that can survive, you know, a, a massive load of bullets in you, but, you know what, it's all good. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just looking through my notes. The, the storyline, I don't really get. Yes, I understand that it is resistance versus the security for the Ark above the flooded Earth. Um, but you know, besides that, I don't really get the storyline. I don't really get the whole, you know, why you're fighting or, you know, the history between the resistance and the security. I don't really understand that. Um, there is a little movie in the beginning of the game, but... I mean, I, I did watch it, I did listen to it, I did, and I don't know why, but it just seemed a little bit, you know, a little bit shaky in the details. Yeah, I mean, it said, you know, oh, we're fighting for the, we're fighting against the, we're fighting against the resistance for, you know, the arc. That's great. But why, you know? I, I was really hoping for more, you know? This game was not what I was expecting. This game, when I watched the trailers from, before this game, before this game was released, I was hoping for, um, I don't know, it looked like a Borderlands kind of graphics kind of game. Um, I don't really know how to describe it, I almost want to say cartoonish in a way. But that's not like, that's not really what this is at all. Um, the graphics at least. And the game, the game itself doesn't run the way I thought it would run. I thought it would be sort of like Borderlands where, you know, it's, it's more open world, you know, and you just have to like go to place to place instead of, this where it's more like a this is a very scenario scenario kind of game um where you know you go to that checklist that i showed i showed in the beginning and said you know security you know day three security day one you know hostage you know day four day you know whatever i was really hoping for you know open world oh you know come here to talk to sergeant blah 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 and you know get his mission assignment Anyway, guys, um, it, it, it is a decent game. There is hope for it if there's like patches, because as you guys can see throughout this whole mission, the the um, the recoil is just ungodly insane, guys. It is just I find it really annoying. I use my SMG when I use my assault rifle, even though that um, in this game, the assault rifle is like a primary. I don't know if you can switch that, because again, guys, I have not played this game through as, like, you know, I haven't beat the game, but I've played enough, so I can actually give this review. Anyway, guys, so it does give, at the beginning of this game, it does give you a tutorial on, like, you know, um, I don't know if you guys can see that right now, but there's a safe, and if you are like, wielding it, you have to do, like, an engineer, I think it is, to, uh, get inside there, an engineer class, and, um, right now I'm using an assault class. And so, what I found, what really, really grinds my gears, <laughs> um, is that, you know, you had to be a certain class to do certain objectives. So, if you had to plant a bomb on a door to open it to get a hostage, which I had to do in my last mission, um, you know, you had to be the assault class, which I thankfully was. But, you know, I couldn't get into that safe that was just there like a while ago just because um, I was the assault class and not the engineer. Now there's many different classes. There's uh, the assault, the engineer, the there is like the medic and you know what not. You know, the average ones, not something out of the ordinary. Um, and you know obviously I'm playing on the easy mode here and um, you know still it's giving me difficulty. It's not the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my I don't, I don't know if you want to say career of video games, but, you know, it is, it is quite the challenge for easy mode, you know. Now, what I hear from people before playing this game was that this game was not worth it, you know, don't pay your money for it, you know, it's still very difficult on easy mode. Um, you know, obviously I got by on my single mode, um, by myself, you know, you can play online, I'm, I'm hoping to play online. No, none of my friends really have this game, unfortunately. But yes, um, 
So yes, that I was hoping I'm hoping to play online. This part is really creepy with the menu. I find this just flat out creepy with your guy right there. Oh man, it's it's really weird, guys. Um, but right here the abilities are showing up, which means like upgrades to your character, um, which I like. I I love upgrading your character. Obviously, I love things that you play through, get you know points to upgrade. I love those um, those kind of games. But anyway. There is hope for this game, like I said before. It, I mean, if Beth Bethesda, Bethesda, sorry guys, I can never pronounce that name when I was playing Fallout, when I was playing any of those games. If they took more time, if they put more time into this game, I believe they could make this game better. Um, no one really plays the online. Um, when I started this, when I started that, that last mission, I put it on the settings so that ed everyone could uh, could join. And uh, no one joins, so it's either me or the game. <laughs> you know, um, it's an it's an okay idea for the game, but there's many different parts. Like, like I said before, if Bethe if Beth Bethesda um, actually spent time on this game, like a little bit more time, then I believe that this game would be good. I mean, look at this, guys. It's it's really creepy. Like, I get creeped out whenever I see my character's face is close. I, I, I chose a face really quickly because I wanted to hop into the action instead of customize every last thing. So I put dreadlocks on him. I don't know why. But then also throughout the game you can unlock different abilities, different um, hair, different, you know, clothing, different, you know, whatever. I mean, that's really cool. Different attachments for completing gun challenges. You know, in, in all, this game is pretty, pretty good. Uh, again, like I said, I, I would not go rushing out to go buy this game, you know, guys. Um, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my game review for Brink. I know I'm late guys. Once again, I know I'm late. Don't worry though. Um, I still, I still came through. Brink review, guys. Decent game. Thank you very much. Get pumped summer 2011. Thank you guys. Please like, comment if you enjoyed this game or what you guys have to think about this game. Because I'm very curious on what you guys, what you guys thought about this game. Anyway guys, thank you. See you guys. Peace out.